Cool. Um, favorite time of the week again is Friday. We are doing our live uh, video feed. Um, this Friday, um, first of all, I guess we want to say thanks to everyone who's bought uh, the 900 amp jump starter over the last week or so. Um, we've seen a lot of them uh, fly out the warehouse. Um, on top of that, we've had a lot of questions on Facebook, so we thought it would be ideal rather than individually ask them all, we'll just do a video and we'll get all the questions together and just answer them one by one. If you are watching this video live and you have a question, you can ask and we'll answer live on, on there. Um, if you're not watching it live, then you can put a question in the comment section and we'll answer that as well. Um, okay, so the first question was from Richard. His question was, how many nights could I get with a caravan ceiling fan? So I guess he's wondering how long you can run his caravan ceiling fan on the unit. If the average caravan ceiling fan draws about one amp per hour, you'll get 20, 20 hours out of it. So that's a good two nights before you'll have to recharge the unit. So I hope that's answered that one. Um, Glenn asked, um, what about a twin turbo V8 diesel van cruiser? Will it charge it? Will it jumpstart it? The answer is yes, it has been charged, it has been tested um, with 4.5 litre diesels right up to 6.5 litre diesels, so it will definitely jumpstart that one. Um, the next question is from Darren. He was curious for the expected charge retention rates, so I guess he wanted to know how long um, it will hold his charge for. So um, after about 6 or 8 months it will lose 15%. So every six to eight months, it will lose fifteen percent of its capacity. So we recommend after six months you charge it because it will drop it will drop down by fifteen percent. So rule of thumb: every six months, charge the unit. That's it. Um, Stefan asked, "What will this start, and how many CCA is it?" So, like we mentioned before, it would start any petrol car, and it would start um, your larger diesel cars as well, four, five, six liter diesels as well. Um, the cold cranking amps is 900, 900 cold cranking amps. Yep. Um, next question was from Rob. Can it be charged up by a 160 watt solar panel to run my fridge? The answer to that one is yes, it can be charged by solar. You can use any solar panel with it as long, if you're using a regulated solar panel, the regulator has to be compatible with lithium ion batteries. So all the ITIC world ones are. If you've got one from a different brand, you'll have to double check with them to make sure they can handle it. Um, the other option you have is iTech World actually have a solar panel that is specific to the jump starter, meaning that it's been designed to charge the jump starter. Um, with that, you simply plug in the 12 volt cable, comes with it, and then plug this into yeah. Put that in the sun, and that will charge. Cool. Um, cool, so yeah, you can, you can charge it with solar. Um, next question is from Barry, and he's also asked, how do you charge it? So, like we just mentioned, you can charge it with solar panel, or you can charge it with 240 volts, so just your standard 240 volts. You can plug it into your generator, you can plug it into an inverter, you can plug it into your wall, it will charge. And you can also... You can also charge it with 12 volt, so you can plug it right into a cigarette socket and it'll charge, so in your car you can charge it while you're travelling. Next question comes from Louise, does it come with a carry bag case? Um, yes it does, comes with a really neat um, case, leather case, which fits into your glove box and all the accessories go in here really neat and tidy as well. Um, last question was from Matt and he asked what do you mean about the Allianz insurance? Okay, we've had a few questions about this. What it means is that Allianz has deemed the product um, so safe that they have provided insurance for up to two million dollars on that product line. So I guess that's what sets us aside from other companies. Um, they don't really have that kind of quality backing behind their product as we do. So we stand by the product um, 
So that's been a lot of the questions. A lot of people have asked similar questions, so we just thought it'd be easier to do a video and answer them. Um, if there's anyone watching and wants to ask a question, they can. Otherwise, if you're not watching it live, you just pop the question in the comment section below and we'll answer it as we go along. But yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for ordering as well. Um, yeah, this is Ian. Thank you.